I wake up mad knowing this is here. So we showed off Gray. Now it's time to show off Urza. Her dream evolutions, just like Gray, aren't that crazy. I think the best one is definitely Lucy, which we'll be showing her off probably within the next few days or so. But Urza's isn't necessarily terrible, apart from like one of them, which I don't really know what they were cooking. I don't even know what they were cooking with the one that I chose. But I chose the Crimson Dream here, which gives all allies 30% more physical damage and also gives her heal recovery amount up by 20%. This increases the healing that she receives, not the healing that everyone else receives. So I guess it's kind of good to keep her above that 80% HP threshold because she wants to be above that so she can constantly get as much art gauge as possible. And I've been using Using her for a bit. I used her for about maybe a day or two at this point, just testing her out against a bunch of different stuff. Unfortunately, I do not have an attack up crest on her. Uh, we just have a level three. Would much rather prefer a level four just for a bit of extra stats, but it is what it is. In terms of like the equips, you can see that I have Grand Destin, but that was because I was doing some farming with her earlier. Now though, I don't really know what I want to put like in this five star physical slot to like try to buff up her damage even more. I was using Scintilla just to have like some extra crit damage buffs on the team. I can always use, you know, like an Archgen item here, but I think I'm just gonna go with Scintilla just to give her even more crit damage. In terms of the team that we're rocking, this is the exact setup right here. We're gonna be using the Emperor, the Light Sestina, and the Star God Lisa. I actually did try this out with Senki instead, but the damage with Senki was just a lot lower than with Lysistina. One thing I will show you though real quick is we'll just go into the training battle and we'll do like the three minute one just to kind of like show you how much damage she can necessarily hit for. So pretty much with Urza, if you're playing her in like farming situations or nuking situations, whatever the case may be, um, you're mainly saving up for your true art. You want to get into that as fast as possible since your true art does stack the crit damage buff and also uh, lowers the enemy's light res. You could use the art whenever you want to to just give you a little bit more attack, especially on a team like this, you're going to have more than enough archgen so you can see right here we're just going to use the art just to give us a bit of attack right there uh, make us hit a little bit harder but yeah pretty much this is how you play urza you spam your true art over and over and over until you have it max and then you keep oh god i'm sorry and then you keep spamming it until the boss is dead as you see right there 147 million i actually will say this is significantly less than what i had the other day whenever i tried this out Whenever I tried her out the other day, I actually managed to get her up to 170 million. Maybe I used like different equips or something like that, but 147 million, not too bad for an Awoken unit, but when you consider like Ascended characters, it's like, okay, well, it's a, it's a little, little small, little, little bitty damage, baby strokes. I'm try her out against the memories of the comet. I don't know if she will actually be able to clear this since... I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this team isn't that fast. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do this. The hardest part about this will definitely be the beginning and making sure that we don't die right here. I'm gonna throw a blessed necklace on Urza as well. She's definitely gonna be dealing the most amount of damage. At least I hope she will. And if that's the case, then, you know, she's gonna get killed relatively quickly. But as you see here, we're gonna burst through this guy's HP pool. I would say... Let me see, are we? Is it quite a bit of damage? I mean, that was freaking Emperor's damage. Of course, Emperor's gonna hit hard. But Urza and everybody should hit relatively hard. Yeah, Urza's hitting for about 247k per hit right now. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be able to survive with this, hopefully. I think the only one that might die is Urza. Yeah, Urza was the only one that got got. Everyone else lived, which is perfectly fine. But this is the part where I'm gonna get really scared because I actually don't... Oh my god, yeah, yeah, look at that. Urza just dies instantly, man, because of this guy's mechanics. I think if I use another Blast Necklace on her, we win. I'm actually surprised the Emperor is taking... Okay, there we go. I would say there's no way Emperor is the one taking the most damage right now, bro. Like, come on, man. Oh, wow, wait. Freaking Lysistina died too this time? Oh, okay, okay. We might have to run Shiro as well, or we might have to take off, like, Star God Lisa for somebody, but really wouldn't want to take off Star God Lisa since she is providing that 150% damage buff to all light allies. All right, we live this time. Let's actually, I'm going to refresh the Blessed Necklace and throw it back on Urza and hope. Oh, oh, snap. I didn't even realize. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. I thought we were about to die right there. Jesus. Oh, we well, did die. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just not, not meant to be. It's not meant to be on this fight. Now, there is one major problem here at the end of this fight. You get a massive attack down and I'm going to see if Urza is going to be able to go through that or not. Also, the Kuroks actually negate crit damage. So in the beginning here, <laughs> Urza is not going to do anything for us, really. It's fine, though. We have three other characters that deal more than enough damage against these guys. And here's the actual fight against the dragon. I hope we'll be okay. I have a good feeling we will be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have brought something to counter that. Oh, wait, we can't do the dragon. The dragon freaking poisons. <laughs> ah, I forgot about that. Oh, Urza, why do you suck so much? <clears throat>
I mean, I guess we could use Urza. We just have to bring a crit buffer. Why am I trying so hard with this unit? I really don't know. I really don't know why I'm trying so hard to make this unit work or just try her out in like all these different situations. Since she needs the most perfect conditions possible to make sure that she does enough damage to whatever she's fighting. We made it to the final fight. <sighs> Hopefully this won't be too bad. I really need to put on like nudist beach outfit or something so we don't get paralyzed 24 7 but i'm just gonna hope that urza can do enough to where this doesn't really matter if urza actually had flinch res this wouldn't matter like what's so uh, yeah that's crazy she doesn't have flinch res if only she had flinch res this would not matter at all unfortunately urza does not have that which oh, that sucks that, it just sucks so much as you see right now the damage from urza isn't too bad like we're definitely getting through it she's dealing about 170k per hit uh, that's even with like the 150% damage buff from Star God here. Also, she's like completely maxed out as well. We are in the best situation possible for her, and that's all we're doing. Uh, I, like I said, I really wish they had a modifier buff or something too, because if she had a modifier buff, exponentially better like instantly so much better but unfortunately, she didn't get that. I mean, we're going through this relatively quick still, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like this type of run though is still going to come down to War God Finn clutching it out for us, but we'll have to see. Yeah, attack down sharply. Uh, we do actually have the attack buff, I think, still on Urza, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we do. So we'll have to see if this does enough. Yeah, even with that attack buff, she's hitting for, oh my god, the damage is abysmal. Into the final fight again. This time I'm hoping that we have enough. Maybe we could also use Rudy's staff to give us even more attack, because that's like 50%, but that's only for the RGB units. That's not going to be for Urza which man why am i trying so it's fine it's fine it, it, it's bothering me just a little bit but it's okay the poison we got some damage res on us we should be okay though it's not really gonna bother us too much this team is pretty loaded with everything so we should be okay it actually is dodging the paralysis procs which does urza actually have paralysis resist i don't think so right i don't think she has any paralysis resist in her kit if she does that's news to me because I was under the impression that she didn't have any type of stats element resist. Damage wise and everything, we're okay at the moment. Uh, uh, how did you not get to that threshold? Okay. Some way, somehow, Star God is just fainted forever. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but uh, can, you, can you get out that, Star God Lisa, please? Please, I need your help. Thank you. Thank you. She finally got out of it. Oh, man. I really hope that Urza can actually kill at this upcoming threshold man i really do a little bit nervous because a part of me feels like that she won't be able to even with like all this attack buffs and everything but hey we're, we're gonna hold out hope uh, a part of me wants to just even hold out for what do you call it <laughs> war god finn stuff just to make sure that we can kill you know what i'm going to man wait there we go we actually just got to it uh um how much damage are we doing i mean i don't know if that's enough man i don't know if that's enough we're getting paralyzed too uh, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough. Maybe. Oh, wait. He's doing it again. Oh, wait. No, mind. We're good. Oh, we're hitting for 18s. Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. I might be able to survive this. Maybe not, though. It depends on how much Haruto can heal right here. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe I can barely clutch it out. Hopefully. We have another 100% attack buff. Like, come on, man. War God Finn, just kill him, please. Oh, Urza's dead. Urza is dead. You know what? Screw it. We use War God Finn and we killed him with War God Finn. Like, ugh. even in that situation, like, if I had Lisa Smart Skirt, definitely would have went a lot smoother. Or if I was using Fiend of Devil Wings, but still. I don't know, man. These Awoken damage dealers, whenever they get Dream Awoken, I'm never too inclined to really use them or try them out. Because most of the time, they're only good in very specific situations. A character that I would say got an amazing Dream Awakening that is actually a damage dealer and is currently available on Global is this girl right here, Fire Malim. This girl got 200% crit damage and also they buffed up her true art to now practically almost 70k it's at 63,000 percent and this just works so well and i was really hoping that urza would get a similar treatment since to be honest like yeah you could give them like unique stuff like physical damage buffs and everything but really the thing that's going to help these attackers the most is giving them just another raw damage buff thrown onto the kit uh if you're not buffing up the modifier giving them like just 100 percent more crit damage or 200 percent more crit damage or whatever would help them out so much for urza's case though i don't know if buffing up just regular crit damage would be enough since she already does do that for herself i think buffing up just raw damage for her would be the better option but yeah i mean overall it is what it is this character she's definitely gonna be good like if you got her and you're a newer player and you need to use an attacker 
she is going to be able to fill that role very well. Another thing is too, she is a luck unit. She has a lot of different versatility in that regard. To an extent, you could kind of use her as like a pseudo dragon because she does buff up physical damage by that. Where's it at? There it is. That 30%. But yeah, that's all I got to say for Urza. She's trash. Um, well, not really trash, but you know, just not going to be able to keep up with a lot of the other characters nowadays. Um, they definitely, I'm just upset that they did the Dream Awakenings as dirty as they did for Fairy Tale. This crossover is such a filler crossover and i hate it so much the fact that no thought at all was put into any of the buffs why even rerun the crossover at this point because i'm almost positive jp will never get fairy tale or if they do it won't be till they get an ascended unit alongside it i wouldn't be surprised if jp changes the dream awakenings because how bad they actually are like what, what do you think jp players are gonna feel whenever they get this stuff they're not gonna feel anything they're gonna look at these units and be like oh that's cool save fest till whatever else comes out in jp which is exactly what we're doing in global right now i hope none of you guys actually summon for these characters but yeah that's gonna be it for this one thank you all for coming out man it's been your boy p if you enjoyed this video how you check out either one of the other videos popping on your screen right now great content guarantee you love them oh and one more thing before you leave don't forget to drink water